Okay, this is pretty cool. Insane, but cool. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to crash and freeze completely any phone just sending a message with a link to a video. So as soon as someone clicks a video, their phone goes kaput. It doesn't matter which phone it is. It doesn't matter if it's an iPod or an iPod. It will crash the device and it's just, you know, it's completely crazy. This is very, very similar. If you guys remember about a year ago, the SMS text bug that was going around and watch this. As soon as my iPhone gets that message, boom, it just resprings. And this happens every single time. People would send a message, it would freeze a phone and you just couldn't do anything. It would restart. And it was really, really annoying because you'd be doing stuff and your friends would be sending this message to you and it would keep restarting your phone. This is different, this is worse. This will completely freeze your phone until you go ahead and hard reset it. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works and I actually wanna do a little bit of research here. How far back does this go? Does this affect iOS 8? I know this works in iOS 10 and iOS 9 on any iPhone, but okay, let me show you how to do this. This is actually pretty crazy and really fun to do to prank your friends. It doesn't really have any long lasting effects that I can tell. My phone was just a little slow for a while, but it, as soon as you restart your phone, it'll go away. Now the reason this is so crazy is because when you guys get a message from a friend, a video, what do you do? You go and click on it unless you're lazy like me and you save it for later, but you wanna go ahead and trust that person. You have no reason not to. This is an iPhone. I mean, this shouldn't be happening in the first place, but let's say you get this link from someone. Somebody. Either you send it or you get it on your phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and send it to my device over here. And uh, you can mask it as a Google short link as well. It doesn't really matter as long as the video gets played. So I do get it on my phone and in here you'll see this link. Now this is on my personal iPhone. I wouldn't recommend you guys to do this because we still don't know if there are any worse adverse effects. But right now I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And when you load it, it doesn't seem like anything is wrong. It's just a short three second video. There's even sound, that's all it is. It doesn't seem bad, okay? My phone just went back to the home screen, I'm fine. I could literally do anything I want, but eventually you're gonna start to notice your phone is gonna start slowing down. I don't know how, but it's just, it's so strange because it seems fine at first and now it's just completely frozen. I literally cannot do anything. My home button works, but I cannot do anything. You cannot hold it, you cannot activate Siri, your power button does nothing. Literally, you cannot do anything at all except uh, tap on here and eventually this will even stop working. So check this out. This doesn't even work anymore. Now the cool thing is it's like a little virus. It takes a good 15 to 20 to 30 seconds to start working. And even if your phone does work in the background, it is so slow. I mean, it just won't do anything. Now, how do you fix this? The only way to fix this is to hard reset your phone. When you restart it, it will be just like new. But before that, it's unusable. You cannot use the home or power buttons. I mean, it's just totally, totally in slow or completely frozen state. So on an iPhone 7, if you guys send this to someone, you know, be sure to help them out as a prank because it's no fun if you're stuck with a frozen phone after. On an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you gotta hold the volume down and the power button to hard reset your phone as the home button is no longer part of resetting this. So this is the only way to fix it. On any other device, it's gonna be the home and power holder for 10 seconds and keep holding it until the Apple logo appears. So how crazy is that, guys? You can send a video, this video, to anybody. If they play it, even if they exit out early in the video, it will go ahead and corrupt your phone and force it to completely freeze and become unusable. So why does this happen? It's a little bit of a curious question. This isn't actually that big of a deal. So this is just a corrupted video on the internet that is a memory leak possibly and causes your phone to just completely go haywire. So it's possible that Apple could fix some part of this uh, in a future update, but the video isn't the issue. It's the way that iOS handles corrupted videos. It shouldn't be you know, completely freezing when something like that happens. So I'm gonna do it just once again for the fun of it on this device over here. And this is on iOS 10.2 beta 3. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that first off, just to show you this works on the latest firmware iOS 10.2. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I think it's really, really funny, uh, kind of cool how it's not apparent right away. You watch the video and you move on with your life for a good 30 seconds, possibly even. You start to use your phone, you know, take pictures, whatever, do your thing, if this would ever load. Eventually your phone will just completely freeze and no longer work after a little bit. And that's the crazy part. So right here, my phone just froze. The home button still clicks but otherwise you can't do anything. It's just done. 
hard reset is the only way to fix this. And I'm actually very curious how far back this goes. So I've got my iOS 8.3 iPhone 6 right here. I wanna see if this still works on older firmwares. I'm very curious. I know it works on iOS 9, all the way back down to 9.0, but does it work on iOS 8? All right, so once again, we're gonna send this link to the unsuspecting user, a friend. This could actually make for a really good prank because it actually uh, may not have any bad effects that we don't know about. Okay, so go ahead and click on this. We're gonna click on the link on iOS 8, and I'm hoping this works. That'd be really cool. This is from my archive. I actually have a collection of old devices on a whole bunch of firmwares because you never know when you're gonna need it. Anyways, let's play the video. And it just stopped midway. Oh, that was just a buffering issue, I think. Um, let's see, do we have any sort of slowdown? Oh yeah, it still works, that's crazy. So all the way back down to iOS 8, it's still working, that's crazy. Let's try iOS 7. Whoa, so this is something I didn't expect. If you just leave your phone hoping it'll fix itself, on 10.2 beta 3 on my 7 plus, this is what it happens. It just starts spinning for an eternity. So this is a permanent freeze and crash right here until you hard reset it. So temporary, I mean, not permanent. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset this, but that's crazy. It just does this. It doesn't even sit on your home screen, it just starts reloading. Okay, and here is my iOS 7 device. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a text message once again to this guy. And I'm kind of curious, does this work all the way back down on iOS 7? This would be crazy because that means the iPhone 4 and 4S are getting a software update to handle this issue. Uh, not only is the 4S susceptible to the lock screen bypass, which cannot be fixed over a software because to disable voice control completely, you know, it's just Apple wouldn't do that. I know it. Okay, so, oh my goodness, this one's even faster. This is like instant during the video on iOS 9 and 8. It's and 10, it's a little bit after. Oh my goodness. So it does work all the way back down on iOS 7. Should I keep going on iOS 6? I don't know, I can do it. <laughs> Let me try it, why not? Okay, I know you guys probably wanted this, maybe not, I don't know, but I wanted to whip out the old iOS 6 device, 6.0.1. This is one of my rarest iPhones I have, to be honest. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, and here we are. I did not expect to be using this device today. So just to show you guys, 6.0.1. Again, let's try this out. How deep does the rabbit hole go? So got the message right here. Pretty slow, but not terrible. Oh man, this interface brings back memories. I'm so curious, does this work? Oh my goodness. Does it? Um, still good, still good. Um, I just played the video and it seems like my phone is, oh, nope, it froze. Okay, so I can try it on iOS 5, but at this point, I, don't, I doubt anybody's even using iOS 5, so it doesn't matter. Okay, who am I kidding? Guys, I have to know. iOS 5.1, so this is the first major firmware iOS 5 that you could even use iMessage on, so once again, how far back does this go? Does it work on the first iMessage acceptable iOS version, iOS 5? So before we even had drop down up top, let's go ahead and see. So clicking on this link, I'm so curious, is iOS 5 affected? And the video is so harmless, that's the funniest thing about it, is this cheery little, I don't even know what the heck he's doing, what is he holding? It's, um, that's a TV in the background. It's just a picture. <laughs> Cheery sound of death to your phone. Here we go. So momentarily, should it work? Come on, iOS 5 cannot be immune to this. So, oh, there we go. Frozen, yes, it works. So it is completely frozen. Just like that, iOS 5 is still affected. So this spans all the way back to iOS 5, iOS 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are all affected by this bug. So whatever it is, if it's a corrupted video, whatever it is, it does affect so many devices. So if you guys wanna do this, make sure to send anyone 
who you're sending this to, how to fix it right away, just a hard reset because it could be frustrating to have a frozen phone. So during the duration of this video, basically what happens is for a few good minutes, like four or five minutes, your phone is frozen, it's spinning on the little thing and then it restarts accordingly on its own. So in the end, uh, it is pretty harmless, I hope. Hope I'm not sending people's information out there with this, but I will leave the source where I got this from down below. Kind of a crazy bug. Seriously, this week has been filled with iOS flaws, bugs, and I love it. I love every minute of it. It may sound like I complain at times, but no, this is the stuff that I live on. I love bugs and all of these things. So if you keep finding them, send them to me on Twitter, guys. I will thank you so much. Okay, guys, enjoy responsibly. Peace.